Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Brandon Walton with Cypress Learning. In this video, we're going to cover setting up your identity users with Pardot, specifically for the Spring 21 release, where the native Pardot functionality is going away. Before jumping in, let's quickly go over what's changing and how it will affect your Pardot users. So what's changing? Beginning on February 15th, 2021, and coinciding with the Spring 21 release, Pardot's user authentication system will be discontinued, and all users will be required to use a Salesforce single sign-on. All Pardot users not enabled with Salesforce single sign-on, or SSO, by February 15th, 2021, will lose the ability to log into Pardot until they are connected to a Salesforce user. This change will not have any impact on Pardot features or change the level of access that any particular user has. It only impacts the way in which users authenticate to Pardot. Why is it changing? <clears throat> the primary driver behind this really is security. Trust is always been Salesforce's number one value and user security is a part of that promise. By requiring that all users access Pardot via Salesforce single sign-on, Pardot can eliminate its own user authentication system and consolidate all customers onto Salesforce's login solution, which is more robust, extensible, you can control more things. The majority of users accessing Pardot today are already using Salesforce SSO, but in order to make sure all customers are using SSO, they are turning off the Pardot features um, or the Pardot login features. Some of those things are um, custom password policies, login hours, multi-factor authentication system, far more customizable inside of Salesforce than they are inside of Pardot. So we're bringing everything together and managing it from Salesforce only. In addition, Pardot's recent releases and future roadmap are also key drivers of this change. As Pardot deepens its integration with Salesforce, Pardot users lacking a Salesforce seat are missing out on an increasing number of features, including things like business units, B2B marketing analytics, the new Lightning email builder, just to name a few. Today, users log into Pardot through one of two methods via direct login using Pardot credentials, you can see the arrow pointing to there at the bottom with the email and password, or like you see the button on top there, log in with Salesforce. Depending on how the user is configured, they can use one or both of these login methods. Now on February 15th, the bottom method is going away. So you will no longer be able to log in with your Pardot credentials. This means that Pardot users will need to be connected to a Salesforce user or they're not going to be able to access the platform at all. To support users with Pardot, or to support customers with Pardot only users, Salesforce is providing 100 identity licenses um, to all customer orgs that are using Pardot. These identity licenses are a no cost way of transitioning your Pardot only users into Salesforce. If all of your users already access Pardot via Salesforce uh, sign on, then you don't have to take any action. If, however, you have Pardot only users that are not connected to a Salesforce user, then you will need to connect them before February 15th, 2021. They can be connected to either a new or existing Salesforce users, and the 100 bundled identity licenses can be used for users who uh, cannot or should not obtain full Salesforce licenses. Finally, if you are in the small group of Pardot customers who do, who do not have a Salesforce organization at all, then your account executive should have already reached out to you or will be reaching out to you to get set up with a Salesforce org. It's a new special kind of org for customers who fit this scenario. It's free of charge, but there will be some restrictions and Salesforce can talk you through what those are. Another thing that will be impacted are API integrations. So all integrations using the Pardot API will need to be updated to use the Salesforce authentication method instead of the Pardot authentication method. Uh, more information um, on this is available through the Pardot API documentation site. Um, you could literally Google Pardot API documentation and find it that way. If you're using a third party API integration tool like Zapier, for example, then you'll need to um, 
work with Zapier or whatever the service is to update their integration. Um, Pardot has proactively reached out to some of the big ones like Drift, um, Feed Otter, On24, Taxi for Email, Trey.io, Qualified, Zapier, and Zoom, et cetera, to make them aware of this change. Given Pardot's open API integration policy, there are definitely third-party integrations, maybe some that you've built yourself that Pardot is not aware of. If you're a consumer of a service not included um, in what I just mentioned, or you, you haven't heard from your provider uh, that they are um, prepared for this change, you will definitely, definitely, definitely want to make sure that you reach out to that service provider because starting on the 15th, those services will no longer work. Now, let's jump into an actual Salesforce and Pardot account and show you how to set up your new license users. Jermaine is going to take you on that journey. Jermaine, I'll let you take it away from here. Hi, my name is Jermaine Brewer with Cypress Learning. And in this video, I'm going to cover setting up your identity users with Pardot, specifically for the Spring 21 release, where the native Pardot login functionality is being depreciated. So first thing you need to do is go create your user in Salesforce. After we have created it, you want to make sure that you assign the identity license. So under user license, we have identity and our profile identity user. And we can go ahead and hit save. And now we have to assign the part out permission set. So you select your part out permission set, hit add and save. Now that our identity user has a profile created and has been assigned the part out permission set, we can go into quick find and go to part out account setup. And next to the part of admin, click on manage users. And edit user assignments. You select the profile that you just created, select add, and then save. All right, and now you want to go ahead and create the user account in Pardot if there's not one already. So we'll go into Pardot. Pardot settings tab. On the left hand side, we want to expand user management, go to users, add user. And we just create a user account. And the one important piece is you want to map the part out user account to the CRM username. So it says it, it hasn't been found yet. Let's go ahead and do a refresh. And now our Salesforce user profile shows here. We select the role and you just go and create user. And now that the user has been created, we want to enable the Salesforce single sign on. So next to the CRM username here, just click on the link. And now single sign on has it been enabled. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.